Hey guys, so welcome back. 5th of March today, 18, 19 degrees, about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, pretty muggy here. There's been a heap of rain over the last 24 hours. We've got about four or five days of rain coming up after this afternoon. So time to get into the bees. So today we're having a look at the white hive and we're also going to be having a look at the green hive. We might even if we've got time check out the grey hive so stay tuned we'll get into these hives so we check out the entrance of this hive now you can see they're still teeming with bees i haven't touched them and i haven't smoked them or anything so we'll pop them a little bit of smoke and see how we go once we get in so you remember from last time we had a look at this hive we put this top box on and it was absolutely teeming with bees very very close to swarming so let's have a look see how we go wow so still teeming with bees now this hasn't got a queen excluder on so i've got to be careful of the queen up in this top box So these guys are just, uh, still on the grow by the looks of things. I might make a split off these guys. It'll give them some room and it'll continue these genetics on. I'm just going to put that back in because they're really trying to sting me. Look at this. Oh, and they're getting in the little buggers. Oh, now I've done it. Look at that. <laughs> Please, get out of there, you little shit. Wow, cranky. So that didn't go overly to plan. These guys were just absolutely, look at them, they're just drilling me. I'm just gonna smoke the absolute crap out of them. Where are my gloves? Where are these things in my glove? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They just absolutely hammered me. And I wouldn't say I'd squashed any bees. I heard one guy say once, you should smoke them till you choke them. I don't necessarily agree with that, but uh, yeah, I'm not dealing with stingy bees, mate. Upstairs, first frame. Honey and brood. I'll pop this one aside. Got more bees trying to sting me. Keep going, mate. You'll get it. Hey, don't. Pure honey, nectar. Honey and nectar and some brood up in there, that corner there. Some last of some brood that's been laid out there. What I'd like to do is shake these guys down the bottom. Larvae up there. 
I haven't spotted any eggs yet. Nectar, old brood. A little bit of new brood. Lots and lots of nectar. Look at that. Just huge amounts of nectar. What a terrible problem to have. I've got to look in the bottom, don't I? I'd rather just walk away from these guys at the moment. Check them out. And what I might do also is put a coin explorer. Does this remind you of anything? Like uh, two weeks ago, before I put that box on? Good frame of nectar. Ow. Apologies. Small break in transmission while I uh, remove that bee from my private spaces. Nectar, a bit of brew down the bottom there as well. Bit of drone brood. I am copying some stings. Which is annoying me no end. Wow, oh, another one. Stop it. So she lays this out like a champion. Look at that for some brood. Look at that for some brood. More juicy nectar. Lots of pollen there. Well, she's laid that one out beautifully as well. She's a trooper, this queen. She's just pumping the brood out. I'd like to get their uh, aggression under control. It might be because there's a bit of a flow on. I've upset them. 
Look at them, they're just constantly stinging. And I'm not being overly aggressive with them, I'm not throwing them around. I don't think I've squashed that many bees. I love the queen, like have a look, you can't get any better. But I hate, I hate cranky bees. I'm not a beekeeper so I get stung. I'm a beekeeper so I can help the planet, get a bit of honey on the side. But you know, look at them flying. Reckon it was two weeks ago, wouldn't you? I think I'm going to put a queen excluder on them and hope that the queen's down the bottom. I'm not going to shake the bees. Massive. All right, guys, so I've decided I'm going to put a box on these guys. Massive. We've got a flow on, so I'll get a fair bit of honey I'm tipping out of these. Here you go, girls. Here's some more space. So I'm going to space these frames out a little bit. See there I've put a little bit more than normal space. I haven't jammed them up close. Hopefully when they fill their comb in they will build it a bit bigger. But just have a look at this. They're already coming up into that top box. Now what's it been? A minute? So they're just desperate for space. Anyway, I'll put this uh on top, put the lid on, and get them closed up. So from that to that to that in six weeks, amazing. So now we're going to check out their other green hive queen. So this one, same genetics as this one here. We'll check them out. This one's a first year queen. This one's a second year. So we'll suss them out and see how we go. There's a bit of smoke at the entrance. These guys have got an excluder on. I'm tipping they need a new box as well. Doesn't look like any of this is capped, but it's certainly getting really close. None of those are capped either. I'd like to get rid of that comb. I 
I'm going to shake these bees off here. Get rid of this comb. And I'm going to put a mat on them. Now I know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me that these guys need another box. And I know that. I'm fully aware that I'm short on boxes. So let's have a look in the bottom box. Right, so let's get into this brood nest, have a bit of a suss. So you can see again all these dead bees that were underneath that queen excluder. So these short boxes have just got not enough room. Supersedure cells, empty, brood on the second frame in, another supersedure cell, empty, another one there, older brood, third frame in, awesome brood again. Pulling up through here. Same deal. Queens laid out throughout here. These guys are a bit calmer than the bees next door. You know, the ones next door were at me constantly whenever I moved anything. These ones are a bit calmer. Might have something to do with the drone that the queen mated with. Here we go, so pollen. Eggs in between. Good brood again. Eggs in between there as well. Another frame, full brood, full brood again. This must have been a new frame that I put in, so this is all laid out. I think I pinched this, pinched the frame for one of the nukes, one of the splits. That's all laid out as well. So these guys are doing well. More brood. And last but not least, outside frame. Pollen around the top of that brood in between the honey. Good bees. Oh, let's shake them and have a look. What's going on there? That's all laid out. Queen was probably there somewhere, I guess. 
happy days. So I'd take a split off these guys if they weren't so cranky. The green hive isn't my favorite uh, colony at the moment. I've just managed to leave a whole heap of bees down the side here. Hopefully the queen wasn't in there. That brood nest looks pretty good. I'll pop this excluder back on. Pop our box back on. We've got a hive map this time. Keep them out of the roof. Get a few bees on that lid. And I'll close them back up. So there we have it. So it's two hives, same genetics. Original queen, original queen, next generation queen. A bit grumpy, but super, super fast brooder. And this one here, chugging along, still great brood, still building up. Could probably put a box on this one. But happy days. Today we're going to be looking at the silver hive or the grey hive. These guys have got the Edmunds Queen in them. We've had a big day in the BR. We've got heaps of other videos up. So check these guys out. These two hives are absolutely pumping. We haven't had a look in the orange hive yet. And we haven't had a look in the yellow or red hive, which were all requeened. Actually, the yellow one wasn't requeened. But we haven't looked in these ones yet. We've had a look in the blue one. That's booming. Check out our videos, guys. But right now, we're going to get stuck into this silver hive. A bit of smoke at the front door. Let's open them up and see what happens. It smells like nectar. That's the first thing I notice. They're pretty docile, these guys, in comparison to those other ones that we've just been through. So again, like all these hives, they're bringing in an enormous amount of nectar. Hasn't been capped yet. But all the hives are like this. They're doing well. more nectar. So these ones are just full of nectar and three weeks ago I was contemplating whether I was going to have to feed them. That's the last of the old brood nest that I put up there and it's almost full. So all those frames are basically the same. Oh, but they haven't got a queen excluder. I'll have to put a queen excluder on them as well. All right, so let's have a look at these guys and see how we go. Basically empty frame out the back here. Nectar at the top. Not much else happening. Lots of drone brood in this one. But there is a lot of drone comb. You can see the difference in size. See the difference in size of that cluster in the middle. So that's the difference between drone comb and normal comb. And you can even see it there. See there's different sized cells. So there you go. 
We've got to keep an eye out for the queen. So it must have been about four weeks, I think, since these guys have gone in here. So we've got eggs through here, but we've got a lot of nectar again. So I actually think that I've got about a week to come down here and put some more boxes on these guys. I think on all the hives. That's fully laid out. I'm hoping to catch a glimpse of the queen down the bottom. Then when I put that top box on, I can put the excluder on. It's all larvae, pollen and honey, honey. And some eggs down in the bottom there. So basically pollen, eggs, pollen through here as well. Pollen on that side as well. So again, brood, pollen, a little bit of larvae. Oh no, no real larvae in that one at all. A little bit of larvae down here, but there's only a little bit here and here. Good amount of bees. Let's have a shake of this one and check them out. Nectar. That's about it, just nectar and pollen on that one. Alright. So, Queen Excluder on and box on. If the queen's up the top, she'll end up staying there and laying out the top and I'll just swap the boxes over later. But right now, let's get this lid on. Now there was a hive mat. I'll go and grab that hive mat, it's blown away. Look, they've chewed all this hive mat. Wonder why. Rightio, so that's the grey hive. So that rounds up those three hives. It's grey hive, green hive, 
and that one. Thanks for watching, guys. We love you guys watching our videos. Throw us a like, throw us a comment. See you on the next one.